what is going on, lunatics? It is I, the Lunk Whisperer. Just kidding. But, um, I mean, we, we got exactly what I'm telling you, right? So, make sure you hit the like button on your way in. I'm going to tell you what's about to happen next. I'm going to show you a little bit about the news that's going on. And these are important things that are going to matter a lot. So, uh, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, did I sit in like button? Oh, yeah, I did. I did. Like button. Anyway, whatever. Like button. Whatever. All right, guys. So, first up, Terraform Labs transitioning Terra Operation initiative so they're now drawing down we're in that phase how does that affect luna classic well there'll be some movement from luna to luna classic there might even be some luna classic movement to luna because terraform labs also just put out uh upgrade 4818 i want to say uh so they're gonna be upgrading a final uh, upgrade before it's given over entirely to the community so uh there's a lot going on uh for terraform labs as they wind down right now and it should long-term have a positive impact on Luna Classic. Can't say for sure, but it does look like that will be the case. So, um, the other thing is, and this just happened before we went uh, live, a billion Lunk just got burned out of nowhere, and so did a million USTC just got burned out of nowhere. These are big burns. This is more uh, sometimes than you, you were getting with Binance on a few of the bad months. So, this is a significant additional burn that you just didn't expect coming out of nowhere so uh, this could be terraform labs uh, doing some burning with their wallets we don't know yet what is going on so as information kind of reveals itself in short order we'll figure it out and we'll get to you what that means but uh, that's a significant amount and should cause a little bit of a spike in price no guarantees of that but potentially now let's look at governance proposals i went to a new i went to the the galaxy station uh to get the full breadth of what this is so 12 123 and we've talked about two different proposals that were live right now that was the genuine labs community spent and when we go to uh when we go to lunk dash we go to places like that then it's not optimal to not be able to read you know, what it is so uh this uh, we moved over here uh, or i moved everything over here and you can see how the voting went it did get uh denied now they said please hit no on it because they want to redo it properly uh but the other one was juris protocol and this was the proposal uh and it's 12 123 uh changing the on-chain name and ticker for rakoff to juris protocol due to legal issues with the original branding so there's legal issues, there's terms, there's concerns, there's legal concerns that a crypto has about uh, what they're doing. And guess who voted no with veto? Jesus is Lord, using uh, you know almost 6% voting power to no with veto to the changing names to avoid some sort of legal issue. That is, guys, if you're staking with Jesus is Lord, I'm telling you right now, this is a bad actor in this space. I can't be more specific than this. This guy would rather have these people sued than for them to change them, uh, change appropriately. And look, say what you want about, well, I disagree. I think a parody can't be illegal or anything like that. We should fight it. Well, unless you're prepared to put up the money to fight it, there will be a legal fight. So it makes no sense whatsoever to vote no on it. So stake with your conscience. And if your conscience says, oh yeah, he's right. Okay, cool. Um, but to me, that's a bad, bad actor. Okay. Um, my opinion, but that's a bad actor. Now let's talk about price. Okay, so um, now I've cleaned up this chart just a little bit because uh, I wanted to give you guys a, a little bit of, of clarity here. Now, what did happen? Um, let's remove a little bit of this right here and uh, let's look at the, the, the structure of everything that we're doing right here. And you can see we had that move. Uh, I told you the move was going to be nine because that's the line to gain, right? Over the hours, what did we see? We saw a couple little fights here at that nine in order to make that next big move, right? Well, we didn't get that next big move uh, and we didn't get that breakout. We got up to about 95.79, as you can see over here on the right. So uh, the next question, of course, becomes, well, what happens next? And I told you guys, my most likely scenario was going to be that if we get rejected off of this and we come back down here and we use this area right here as a back test. Now, if, if you zoom in here, you'll notice I missed the top here. But what I meant to do is put right there at the top on this one and say that that's most likely where we're going to retrace to because that's new buyer stepping in, old buyer stepping out or accumulating, whatever. And what happened here, we got almost an exact 
perfect play out. So now the question becomes what happens next? Well, um, as you can see, this um, breaking out of the 200 uh, above the 200 right here. So there'll probably be a little bit of rejection over here around uh, this is the SMA and then probably somewhere up here too. Uh, we'll get a little movement sideways uh, and then we'll rally again to that nine and then try to use it as support and then start to build from there. That seems to be the most likely play. And why does that seem? Well, most of the information is positive. You just got a billion Luna Classic burned in one fell swoop from somewhere. You have no idea. And if that's the start of Terraform Labs starting to do their burns, then remember, uh, at one point, I want to say that you know Terraform Labs with, with a couple of wallets, they had billions billions, billions and billions of, of Luna Classic, and they had billions of USTC as well. Uh, and, and in fact, at one point, I think they were they had uh, trillions of uh, Luna Classic before sending it for some reason to Binance. I'm not sure what that was about, but you know, not here to debate that at this point. Now let's look at volume and see what volume looks like. Volume is down 53% to uh, 17 million. Not a great number, but the 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 we don't need you don't need a lot of volume for the price to go sideways if that makes sense um, you, you need a lot of volume for it to go up or for it to go down so uh, this generally means that we're just kind of trading sideways uh, next up uh, the USTC still retracing back down again there was no reason uh, no solid reason for this pump so uh, you'll see that retrace pretty quickly and then of course it's down four percent uh, but the trading volume down 72 percent this was just an opportunistic flip here if you will it uh, doesn't mean that it's not going to run. doesn't mean that we're not going to get some information about a repeg or something like that in, in, in due course. Remember, it is being worked on right now. We're, we're literally having the conversations about this repeg. And there was an offer of 1 million USTC that's been raised to 5 million USTC um, by, I think it was NB Studio, to make this happen. So there should be some discussion being had about it. And uh, we'll let you know if something changes. Uh, now let's talk about uh, this, the boys coin. Now, guys, if you're uh, if you're a fan of the boys on Amazon, um, decent show. So uh, you know, real light, real. What if what if superheroes were basically R-rated and controlled and run by the government? You know, et cetera, et cetera, or or corporation or corporate entity, something like that. So it's an interesting take on superhero genre, and that led to uh, some fans putting together the boys on the Luna Classic blockchain. And here it is. Uh, they are the number one trending on Coin Hall, uh, and Coin Hall is the place where you come to trade uh, meme coins along with Terraport.finance. And you can see you're down 4% on the day. Osmio had a little kick up uh, on this one. And then Juris uh, down about 3% on the day as Juris goes through the ending process. But, you know, you're getting in early. And what do I keep telling you guys all the time? Uh, I, all the time I tell you, look, just, just grab a little bit of these meme coins. Just get yourself a, a taste, a taste, if you will, uh, of each and every one of these meme coins. You never know. You really do. You never know when one of these things is going to explode. And uh, I told you before, and, and, and everything that was on Tron, dead. Everything on Tron, absolutely dead. Until something flipped, and then all of a sudden, we're all trading on Tron. What's that all about? You know what I mean? Uh, matter of fact, I'm doing a, a, a promotional video today for a Tron token, and you know, just out of nowhere, it starts to spike. Well, the same thing's going to happen for Luna Classic, and those that are in here at the beginning, people are going to start finding these 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 coins and tokens, and they're they're going to make these plays, and these things are going to absolutely rip. Just have to find the right time, the right ecosystem um, uh, protocol, the right uh, surge reason for Luna Classic, and when that happens, and when people see hey oh my god there's a there's a meme coin community here it's undervalued vc market makers start to, to ape in and the next thing you know uh, the, these coins that are trading at 10 to 50 thousand market cap are suddenly over several million market cap and your 50 dollar bag or your hundred dollar bag is now thousands of dollars because you were wise enough to do this so uh, and, and by the way I'm not endorsing any one of these meme coin spaces saying that they're safe, that they're that, that they're they're not ruggable or anything like that. Okay, you have to do your own research on that. The boys to me is uh, a new one that just launched and they're trending number 1 right now, which is why this is important. But you never know what's going to happen. So I, I would suggest take caution, look at the look at the contract details, make sure that you understand what it is that you're investing in and then go find some of these meme coins. And, and get yourself in. I, I told you guys before, like I'm into a bunch of them. 
Okay, I am into uh, a, a bunch of these. So uh, I, I'm, I'm a big fan here. So um, if you're interested, then, then get in just because you never know. One day this thing you know what I mean? One day it just goes absolutely crazy, and the next thing you know, your life is forever changed. Simple as that. Uh, let's keep moving on though, because here we have the burns right here. A billion ninety nine lunk were burned uh, just a little while ago, and one million sixty six USTC were burned. Again, still looking for who it was that did that, so we don't know yet. But when we get more information, we'll. Uh, uh, we'll let you know. Also, um, here's the burns up until that point. Still not bad. Still still not bad at 300 million, but it's going to spike itself pretty good. And ma a matter of fact, I might reach out to Lunk Metrics today. Maybe we should do USTC too. Maybe we should be looking at that as well. Um, on the front page, here's the USTC burn tracker. Um, you know, I, I, maybe that should be on the front page though. You know what I mean? Uh, so um, there, there's the, the total burned. There's cryptonomy is giving away from one hundred to ten thousand dollars to participate. All you have to do is follow the three Telegram groups, follow Cryptonomy on X, and make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months to join the launch pool by August twenty. So, if you're interested, make sure you sign up today. Also, I'm making another move here. You guys know I've been a fan of API three. Well, the granddaddy of API three should be considered to be Link. So I brought in 582 link. I'm going to stake that right now for six months at a 29.6% yield. That's going to give me a pretty good increase. So I'm confirming I got my link right now. I'm going to get about a 30% off of that and now the granddaddy of all this is the launch pool the launch pool is where it all happens i'm gonna use 0.4 bitcoin in the bronze package that's up to 5x returns and we're gonna hit the continue right here and we got a whole new contract guys try cryptonomy dance today that's how you earn yield the 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 hours burned etc etc uh so I, but i think that should be on one page to be easier to follow speaking of easy to follow hey guys if you're not trading uh, meme coins on Terraport.Finance or CoinHall or somewhere like that, then what you should be doing is wagering. And you can do that over here at Terra Casino with uh, Blackjack, Baccarat, uh, game shows, um, slot machines, sports wagering, PvP poker. You can use Lunk. You can use Luna. If you got Luna in your wallet, by the way, if you have, uh, if you have mainnet Luna, come over here and wager some of it. Maybe you win more. Maybe. Maybe you win more. And uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, BNB, BUSD, Polygonmatic, Link, USTC, USDT, Dogecoin, plenty of different things that you can use in order to do that. And you've got this group of people out here who are trading quite a bit uh, right now. And uh, it's been pretty, look at this, somebody just won $31. Um, as, we, as we rolled down there, somebody just had a nice little win. So um, you know, all you have to do is go here, attach your wallet, and get started today. Link is in the description down below. Also, terraport.finance, uh, this is where you come for, for meme coins. Uh, and if you want to, to earn yield, you know, I have this stake set up. Uh, and then yield farming, yield farming is available for you. Uh, any trading done over here on this platform, then you are securing the network. So you would gain yield off of that. Remember, we got Rocket still um, about to launch. So make sure that you check that out. So uh, in the meantime, uh, check out the boys. The uh, uh, only 129 people following this right now. I don't know how many people are holding or anything like that. I'm not uh, looking at this point. So guys, make sure that you check out the boys coin. And uh, if you have any questions, then put it in the comment section down below. They'll see it. Maybe they'll respond to you. And uh, we can kick off one, another one of these big meme coins. So this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.